because today is not like any other. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Tenkaichi, and this is the Tenkai Talk. Well, today, as of right now, on, on, on the West Coast, it is September 11th. Over on the East Coast, it's just another day. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I doing an episode of Tenkai Talk on a day like today? I have... I have plenty to say about what happened today. And mostly, I am going to blow my stack on this whole day. If you want to know why, let me tell you why. So, it has been dated that September 11th has been known as the day we live in infamy. The new day that we live in infamy. Because what happened 15 years ago, which was the attack on the Twin Towers, or should I say as a whole, New York City. And it was a terrorist attack. And many people have died because of said terrorist attack. And we as a nation mourn the loss of many of the victims of the attack. So, years later, we've done something about it. And that is, took care of the situation while Obama was in office. Or, you know, yeah, while he, while he was in office. Or rather, he's still in office, but you know what I mean. My point is, now is the day that, you know, is that one day that we all, that quote-unquote live in infamy because of that. Okay, 15 years have passed. What have we learned? That some of us still mourn. And some of us just want to take this day to remember. Not all people want to remember it. Myself included, because A, there's a lot of things that happen on September 11th. Like, for instance, Tetsuo Kurata, otherwise known as the titular character of Kamen Rider Black RX is his birthday. There's another writer's birthday, but I can't think of it. I can't think of it right now. I think it was Common Rider Wizard's birthday. I don't know. Um, but his birthday is today as well. Another thing that happened when September 11 rolled around was the fact that Mobile Suit Gundam was taken off the air on Cartoon Network because of terrorist attacks. The, the terrorist attack. I remember I was watching Mobile Suit Gundam when th this whole day went that when that whole day went down. Mind you, th I just I wasn't really I really didn't know about it. Now you're probably wondering what's my take on it. Well, let me see. After smoke cleared. And we've won over what had happened. We avenged ourselves by putting the foot up the terrorist ass. And yes, I know there is more of that happening. But you know what? If they strike, well then, you know, then we know to strike back. We are people who strive to make the best of, a, of any worst situation there is. So to me, so you mean tell me within the 365 days a year that we have worked our asses to the bone and we have one day to actually mourn um, I'm sorry, 
but uh, we should no longer mourn what's no longer there. I understand. Yeah, September 11th is one, one of those harsh days that just basically just says... Yeah, I I I want I want to just honor the dead. That that's fine if you want to honor the dead, but for me, that's what they are. They're dead, and the way you can honor the dead is by living. And I quote Common Rider Gaim with the opening: "Just live more. That's what you gotta do. Just live more." I, I can understand that in some in, in some parts of the US people are just you know stopping for a moment just to just to have a moment of silence and that's fine if you want to have that moment of, moment of silence but we move on we live on that's what you had to do and I've seen posts on Facebook that says, you know, while we while you have this, t let's all remember, let's all remember the lives that have been lost on on this day. Yeah. Um. First off, it's been 15 years. I hate being cold, but we gotta move on. Actually, I don't mind being cold. I shouldn't say I hate being cold, but I don't mind being cold in this in this day and age. No, you can't just stop just because of this one day yes it's one day that 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 you know that happened but we got more problems than you can imagine here we got people who want to basically change the way of the United States of America you got people like Colin Kaepernick who want to basically not pledge Because of quote unquote racial inequality. Okay, now correct me if I'm wrong. And please share your thoughts on this because I feel it's important. So you mean to tell me that you have, if you have obtained over quote unquote millions of dollars and you're playing football. And then you have the audacity to basically flat out openly say, openly do rather than say, openly not pay respect to the American flag. And you got a problem with racial inequality? Let me tell you something. You're a hypocrite. Because first off, you're in the wrong for saying that. Secondly, you're in an organization in which you cannot do that sort of thing. One moment. You're in an organization in which you, in which you play on a team. So therefore, there is no I in team. And for the sake of for the sake of just not wanting to deal with um deal with this you shouldn't have to do something so drastic as to say I want to stand up for this but I said that's fine if you want to stand up for it but it's the wrong time to do it. It's fine that you want to be a freedom fight, fighter for people's rights and all that. But. there You have to do it in a setting in which, you know. You're not in the public eye. You're not in the public eye. You, you, you know, it's like whatever you want to do, that's fine. But if you're going to disrespect our country like that. And you should not be on the same level as everybody else. 
and I don't know what's going on with America, really. It's like you got so many people bitching and whining about the small things. And they want, you know, they're, they're saying all this because they want this attention. They want this because they know they have to have it. They want it their way, not the way it's supposed to be. I'm sorry, but as American, I'm not sorry for saying as American, but all my life, I have been one to have been told to show respect for the flag, to say the Pledge of Allegiance, and then sit down. At event, you listen to the National Anthem. If you're in school, you do the Pledge of Allegiance. That's important. Because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Put your right hand over your heart, face the flag, and then say it. Now, there have been plenty of people who died for this, this country. There have been plenty of soldiers who have, throughout the many years that we have been living, on this on this nation this country that they died for our rights to live and for one person just to say they don't want to respect that then you have to get the hell on out of here that's the bigger picture i've seen plenty of i've seen plenty of posts that basically that basically says how much of hip, hypocrite this one guy is And you're telling me that you want to do something on a day like this in which people, people want to basically bow their heads in silence and want to pay respect to the honored dead. To me, it just ain't right. It just ain't right. In what way do you have to say against all this mess about racial inequality and whatnot. Since when in the world have we ever had a problem with racial inequality? No, it has always been a problem. Racism is still alive and well in certain spots of the world. So it's not just here that racism exists, but it's just about everywhere. Because most times, it's ignorance. I'm pretty sure if we had, say, um, let's see, what's, what's a good example? Let's say, for example, we had, um, if we were living in the, in the age of, in, in the world of Astro Boy, right? Then there'd be discrimination against robots. Because they can, because... They can do more than just serve us, but, the, you know, they have lives and whatnot. In the world of Astro Boy, it, it is like that. Or if, or even in the comic universe, the X-Men. The X-Men are mutants. And most of the people in that universe are mutants. They face discrimination because of that. Because of those skills, because of their different genetic makeup... They face discrimination much worse than, well, being of different skin color. It's it, it's totally sad, and it's, but as I said before, racism is alive and well. This one, this one um, football player that I'm talking about. You know what? It it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because, okay, just because of this one thing you say, that doesn't give you the right to not pay homage to the flag. And I say this, what the hell does that have to do with the with 
what you what you see. You say, well, it's racial inequality. I don't see any racial inequality when it comes to the honored dead of the soldiers that passed away, the soldiers that actually died for our country to make sure that we still have our freedom. I'm going to tell you something. Nobody has the right to say that they're not nobody has the right to say that they're not going to stand up for the flag. So unless so unless you basically got your legs blown off. But the rest of you is still living. That's fine for you to sit down. Or if you have prosthetic legs, you can try to stand up. And the only thing you do is just listen to the national anthem. But yeah, but you had to stand. I mean, from what from what most people do at an event, when the national anthem is played, they stand up and show respect. On a day like today, as I said before, there is problems. There's problems because most people get hung up on 9-11. And there are still people out there who are hung up on 9-11. Just like there are people in Japan that still have that still have something against America because of what happened to them with Pearl Harbor. Or you know, yeah, what happened in Pearl Harbor. Hiroshima and all that. There are people that are rather still hung up about that thing. And I and in my travels, when I was staying there, I've learned that there there is some few some few people out there that are still have this animosity towards our nation because of what happened. And no matter where you go, it's going to be there. And the only thing you can do is say, I'm sorry. But what happened back then has nothing to do with me now. I wasn't born then. I was born later. So whatever happened then, I have no knowledge of it. I only know of it in history books and whatnot. Otherwise, there shouldn't be any problems in trying to explain you know exactly what what is going on however even though i know it's 911 to me it's just another day because it really is another day yes i'm sorry that it happened but no way shape or form am i going to just let this one day just make me feel sorry for myself for no apparent reason just because it's 9-11. I mean, yes. Well, on the other end of the world, it's, it is another day. On my end, it's still, you know, as from what I can tell, it's like, well, it's 10 o'clock over here, so it's like, pfft. It's still 9-11. So when I post this, it'll probably be around 10-30, 11, 11 or so. But most of y'all will get my drift in what, what I had to say. Um, plus, nobody's probably going to give me... Well, if there's one person that I know will give me probably some feedback, will probably be 40. And maybe read you. But other than that, I don't see anybody else giving, giving me any kind of um, feedback other than those two. Well, maybe deluxe, but you know, you can never tell. Because I get more um, thumbs up than anything else. <laughs> I mean, these days I just get thumbs up. I don't get no kind of comments. I just get thumbs up on these videos. Because it's the truth. What I'm saying is true. So today, as it happens, I just slept the entire day. So that's, what does that tell you? I had like a whole week of helping my family out. Do you realize I've been worried sick over 
the course of the house. Now, over the course of my house, I've been worried sick. I've lost sleep. I've practically tried to do something that basically takes my mind off the whole subject until the whole day passes until I know until I know that everything is a-okay I'm constantly in a state of worry but I don't tell you guys that and you don't hear it on my let's play videos because I don't want to worry people about I don't want to put people down just because of oh a b c d f g this is what's going on in my life this is what this is what's happening nobody want to hear you know the sad things that happen because there are worse people there are people better off not hearing about the worst things that are happening in your life uh, I, I, I'll give another example last night last night um, our friend Big Fatty Plus actually completed AM2R and for those who don't know what AM2R is it's another Metroid 2 remake he finished the game within six hours of game time. Six and a half hours of game time, bordering seven. Now the thing is, Pig has been known to do some things on his stream. Like him taking on games that he normally would not take on. Games that would pretty much be rage filled. And considering what's going on in his, in his life, he mentioned he has issues. But guess what? We all have issues. But for a day as heartening as, you know, for a day like, the one day that you're supposed to at least just drop your load, drop your baggage, drop everything that's on you, and just play something just... You know, that's not rage-filled, but just rage-inducing. You know, you're supposed to take it easy on the weekends. That's what I've learned to do over on the weekends. I've learned to do the following for my family. During the week, I cook at least two to three days. Two to three days, I cook something. Weekend, I don't cook anything. Now, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm... You, I'm using, I'm utilizing that practice because, really, why should I actually cook on a day in which I don't need to? I can go out, get something from McDonald's, 7-Eleven, Burger King, Subway. I can go to any place I want to go to on a day in which I don't really feel like cooking. Get something for myself and be done with it. It's okay for me to do that because... I don't mind doing that for myself. I'm taking it easy for myself. And so on top of that, I'm making sure that they take it easy. They're up there in age. So I had to make sure that they're they're both okay. That is my job now. That is priority one in my life. And whatever I do after that, you know, during the week, that's what I'm gonna do. Like I know. I, I've I've been at home, making sure that all the business is taken care of. Since everything is pretty much taken care of, all I'm going to do now is like, oh, hey, I'm going to go back to being a teacher. I said, I don't have to worry about you guys at the house, so I'm just going to go get myself dressed, go, go on out there, walk to, walk, to my, or walk to school, or take the bus to school, go on in and do my thing for 30 minutes and then get the hell on out. That's all I'm going to do. It's just that easy, so so simple that even that even anybody could do that. That means all the time that I have, I'm gonna make time for myself because it's what I'm supposed to do for myself. This day. isn't any special than any other day perhaps to some people it is but to me it's just another day people need to stop getting hung up on certain things that 
don't even need, you know, that kind of attention. You're still here on this earth. Thank God you're still alive. That's the very least you can do for yourself. Thank God that you're still alive. You know, it's like 15 whole years for this one day. Um, and now you want to say we should, we should, we should pay tribute. We should, you know, have a moment of silence. That's fine, all that, but I'd rather not. There's much to do in one day and in a whole week. Compa compare one day to a whole lifetime. One day that you could do just about anything you want to do. But it's on a day in which you're supposed to do nothing. Technically, it falls on a Sunday, therefore you rest. Whatever you did during the rest of the week, no, you're inclined to rest. You're inclined to take it easy. That's what you're supposed to do. That's the most important thing you have to do for your own for your own self. One moment. I know I'm getting myself hot when I'm talking about that, so that's why I'm taking a bit of a break in between this video. So moving on. Um normally I would normally I would just have like, you know, a whole lot to say. You know, technically, you know, I would have like an hour worth of things to talk about. But in this case, on a day like this, I don't really. I, I, I really don't. It's not like I, I would. Normally I would, but since today is September 11th, I don't have much to say. All I have to say is that, to me... It's just another day. Well, there is something I could share with you guys. And that's a poem I wrote about this one day. I wrote many poems about, you know, this day. But one in which kind of signifies my feelings about this one day in history as compared to every other day in history. Be right back. Okay. So what I did was I just, um, I printed out this, um, one poem that I did last year. And since, like I said, it's not really a, it's not really like a really long, a really long episode, but I just felt like talking about this one day. I'm going to leave you guys with this, with this note. And this poem that I remember I wrote and even Facebook reminded me, oh, hey, remember this poem? Well, here it is. And the name of this poem is Just Another Day. People say on this day, we should remember. I say, we remember, but let's move on with our lives. Within a span of 14, now 15 years, those lives are still gone, but not forgotten. We should stop dreading a day like this. I choose to move on, not because of time, but I'd rather not to live in fear because of one day. I'd rather deal with my days with joy and freedom, instead of fear and uncertainty. If all those, com if all those conspiracy theorists can find facts tirelessly, we can go about our business without listening to what that day is. Worry doesn't help you get money in your pocket, nor does stress put food on your plate, and frustration doesn't help you get laid. So this is a wake-up call to those living in the past 14 to 15 years. Receive this as a bitch slap to your reality and start living again. We're still here among the living. And we better continue to breathe the lives we have. So on that note, my good people, I'm gonna leave you off with that kind of with that kind of message. Because 
we have more problems now than we had 15 years ago. We need to deal with these problems as they come. Because there's no reason for us not to live in the now. Because, yeah, it happened. But, it, but you know, over time, it heals all wounds. Remember that. So with that, my good people, I'm just going to end this episode of the Tenkai Talk. And I'll see you next time with even more videos. So with that, my good people, take care. God bless. Have a great and wonderful week. And do stay safe. And of course, Senpai's blessings upon you all. And I'll see you next time for more great content. I've been the Tenkaichi, Pookie Izzy 7, and this was the Tenkai Talk. See you next time.